Hi, I am Rami al Midari. I am a radio reporter for Free Speech Radio News. And this is the refugee camp of Maghazi in the central Gaza Strip, where I was born and raised. I began my work for Free Speech Radio News back in 19, 2006. At that, part, at that year, I remember that the Israeli operation, which was could name Summer Rains, was taking place. That I used a pencil and a candlelight to write up my first script for Free Speech Radio News. With the help of the FSRN stick team, I managed to record myself over phone and using a regular tape recording. Actually, working for such a media outlet, which has been known to be a non-commercial and non-governmental, has helped me a lot and helped the people here in the Gaza Strip to voice out their themselves, to voice out their ideas, to voice out their suffering, and all the bad circumstances they are living in uh, through the Gaza, through the the free speech radio news which has given a good chance for all those people, those voices in the Gaza Strip to say whatever they have out of suffering, out of the bad situation and the circumstances they are living through. And through the work for Afasaran, I managed to file a, a, a lot of good feature stories on the humanitarian, social and political situation and conditions throughout or across the Gaza Strip. One of these features I recall was in recent months. It was about the water crisis and the water shortages and the Gaza Strip caused by the Israeli attacks on the region from time to time. Such a story that has been aired on FSRN and was shared by Real News Network is one of the masterpieces that I have reported so far to this very prestigious and very important radio station in the U.S. These problems of the Palestinian people can have a sort of a solution once they are, once they are broadcast and aired to you international audience, especially in the U.S. And without your support, support and generosity, ongoing generosity, to the free speech radio news, Rami al Mirari and the people around Rami al Mirari and all those who need to be voiced out in the West will likely be silenced once and for all. Last but not least, I just appeal to you again to continue your support which is very and highly important for the free speech radio news.